The TerraFlex Alpha Spare Tire Mounting Kit has been completely redesigned for the JL Wrangler. It will secure a full-size spare tire over the most extreme trails and terrain. With proper reinforcement, the fully adjustable Alpha Spare Tire Mount can hold up to a 39-inch tire. It includes a center brake light mount and housing for the rearview camera. Tailgate reinforcement is necessary if the weight of the spare tire exceeds 100 pounds. Removing the spare tire is fairly straightforward. Unlock the camera mount cover using a T40 Torx and turning counterclockwise. Remove the cover. Remove the spare tire. With the tire off, begin disassembly of the factory spare tire carrier. Remove the center brake light high mount cover by first removing the bolts. Pry the high mount cover, starting from the bottom and working around to the top. You shouldn't need to force it, but you might need to work with it a little bit. With the high mount cover open, detach the wiring and disconnect the center brake light cable from the light. Set the center brake light and high mount cover aside for now. Remove the small bolts on either side of the camera housing. Using a hammer, tap the studs back into the tire mount. The camera mount is attached to the stud ring, so the camera mount will come out with it. Remove the tire carrier from the tailgate. There are 8 bolts total. Remember to support the tire carrier as you remove the final bolts. The wiring is connected to the carrier where it feeds into the rear. Disconnect the wiring before walking away with the tire carrier. Detach the camera from the camera mount. First clip the tie holding the wiring to the camera mount. Then remove the small screws. Disconnect the wiring from the camera. Attach the wheel mount to the main plate. Loosely install the bolts with the bolt plate. Install the lower bolt with the nut plate. Keep this loose as well. Before installing the Alpha spare tire mount, take a moment to clean off the tailgate. Install the Alpha spare tire mount onto the tailgate using the factory hardware. The Alpha tire mount has three height settings. The two factors that determine what height the spare tire mount should be set to are tire size and the type of bumper you have. The maximum tire size that can fit with the Alpha spare tire mount is a 39 inch tire. However, the OEM metal bumper that comes equipped on some models 
has a little less clearance than the standard plastic bumper. Because of this, the maximum tire size that can fit on the OEM metal bumper is 38 inches. Choose the height to match your tire size and bumper style. As with most things like this, it's not a bad idea to test fit the spare tire before you commit to a height. Use the provided thread locker on the studs and install them into the wheel mount at your chosen height. Take the two provided jam nuts and feed them a little ways onto the stud. Using two wrenches, Tighten the outer jam nut to the inner jam nut. Use a torque wrench and tighten the stud to 150 foot-pounds. Loosen the jam nuts using the two wrenches and repeat this process on the other two studs. Should you ever need to remove the studs, this two jam nut method can be used again. Just use the wrench on the inner jam nut instead of the outer. Feed the camera and brake light cables into the camera housing. The camera cable sticks out the center hole and the brake light cable sticks out the slot on the top. Connect the camera to the camera cable and attach the camera to the housing using the provided tiny screws. Slide the camera housing onto the wheel mount studs. Affix it to the wheel mount using the flat socket cap screws. Depending on the stud placement, these screws will go in either the hole above the stud or the hole below it. Attach the camera cover using the provided screws. To set the length of the Alpha spare tire mount, you need to measure the tire offset. This is easy since the spare tire is already off the vehicle. Place a straight edge across the center of the wheel and measure from the wheel's mounting surface up to the straight edge. Extend the wheel mount until the length from the main plate to the end of the wheel mount matches the tire offset. It may be necessary to adjust the bolt placement to get the fit correct. The minimum tire offset is five inches. The wheel mount extends out to a maximum of eight inches. Tighten the four upper bolts using a 12.10 millimeter socket. Tighten the lower bolt and make sure the tab on the nut plate goes in the slot and pushes against the wheel mount. Put the center brake light wiring and connector into the camera housing. If you want to zip tie the excess wiring to the spare tire mount, now is a good time to do so. It's now time to put the spare tire onto the Alpha spare tire mount. Push the center brake light wiring back out of the camera housing. Feed the lug nuts onto the studs. Before tightening, double check the clearance with the bumper and the tailgate. The tire should not touch the bumper and it should rest firmly against the rubber bump pads on the tailgate. If you're satisfied with how the spare tire fits onto the tailgate, then tighten the lug nuts.
Remove the brake light from the high mount cover you set aside earlier. Trim the small tabs on the center brake light next to the holes where the screws go in. Attach the center brake light to the TerraFlex brake light mount. Connect the wire to the center brake light by simply feeding the wire through the opening, looping it around, connecting it, and then pulling the excess back out. Slide the brake light mount onto the camera housing, pull the excess wire back through the housing. Tighten the bolt on the bottom of the cam lever. 